So we've woken up early. It's uh, me and a few of the young guys. We've got Derek G, Frigo, and Riccatello. And then Ruben Plaza was an ex teammate of mine. And we've come to do descending training. Yes. What are we gonna do? And, uh, and uh, they asked who's, who wants to improve their downhill skills and actually I was one of them and the team was shocked. They were like, you've been in the sport for so many years and you can't descend. But I can descend, but I'm, I want to improve. Hopefully I can give you some tips in this video and uh, hopefully we also come with our skin on at the end as well. <laughs> but it's been an early start. We left at 7.30 to get to Barcelona at 9 and we've got a guy called Oscar. Uh, gonna help us he's our teacher so guys I'll show you in this video let's see how we go the first rule is come to a quiet place no cars so we're gonna do we do we doing we're gonna start off with the basics here like I think it's like how to turn and whatever and then uh, then we'll start once we've learned the basics show the guys how we're gonna um, descend at speed you know analyzing the corner how much speed you wash off confidence in the bike and we'll work on all those aspects throughout the day so more to come wider lines tighter exit so a big thing that i was doing was cutting the corners actually not being tight enough on this little cone and not going wide enough at the start. So rather wider exit, wider entry, tighter exit. Hey? I drop my foot down, I try to keep my knee in flex, which is hard. For Marco, that's especially like a, a, you know, a tough point to actually achieve, especially on the left side. So once you get like your knees in semi-flex, try to feel like you actually want to get like out of the saddle. You're lightening the weight on the saddle by a whole lot. This one is now, now we're learning to brake. <laughs> and now we're doing just front brake only. Good luck. So now this is the back brake. Put both brakes in touch. But the faster we go, the more we slam on the brakes. And then slowly, maybe when you're slowing down, if you feel like the back end is getting light because it's like up a little bit, then is when you're, you know, you release a little bit of pressure on the brake. Okay, so now we've done the, the basics and now we're going to do the downhill here. Yeah? We're going to do this up and down, what, like 10 or 12 times, eh, Oscar? How many times, Oscar, are we going to do the climb? 10, 12? 10, 12, yeah. 10, 12. 10, 12. And now we're checking tire pressure just so we know um, what we're running at. And then we'll just keep going up and down, up and down, taking the corners, watching out for the traffic at the same time. But uh, I've really learned a lot. The very the, one of the key points I've learned from this whole thing is like when you put your foot down on the outside of the pedal, not not dropping the heel, actually going on the toes, actually put weight on the toes. It actually helps quite a bit. So here's a tip for you. So you too, but ready, guys? doing our last bit of rounds, ups and, ups and downs, also going to film us. But fundamentally what you want to do is you come to a corner like this. If you're going to be turning on that right apex down there, you want to have the, you want to have the weight, the weight, yeah, on this left pedal. So when you're leaning, when you're leaning over, you want to have your weight on this left pedal and your right hand putting a bit of pressure on the inside here, making a straight line through you. Right hand to your left leg. Keep the weight down. Shift the shift the bum on the saddle to the left hand side to put some weight on that side too. That's how you do it. That's how Oscar's told me how to do it. 
So when I go down here now and he films me on the GoPro, you can see if I've learned. Look, how long have you been doing wrong? I've done this a uh, <laughs> long time, long time. But <laughs> well, finally you, finally finally you learn. learned. Finally you learned. Even at 38, can't teach an old dog new trick. That's bullshit. <laughs> We're gonna see go, it here. Go for okay. it, go for it. So I'm here with Oscar. We did our runs now. Who was the fastest? Uh, slightly fastest was Daryl today. But I don't point, know, he was lucky though, but yeah. I mean, point. Yeah, point three of a second. So there's some. The there, there's a lot of guys that watch this and they, they're going to say to me, but what are the three things that you've taught us here? So what are they? Coming into the corner? Coming what? into the corner, I mean, I would say like I was like with proper like reading, like make sure you're not overcook in the corner I would be like one speed a speed and then like once you have the speed set let's let have the brakes and then obviously with proper position you will be able to actually tilt the bike quite far and then keep that momentum going once you get the momentum then it's pretty much for free after that so the the big thing I picked up from this whole thing was that I was braking too much too late and then coming out the corner with no speed and that's exactly. how they're riding away. Yeah. So you actually got to brake before and then you carry the speed through the corner and then you actually yes, accelerate. Yes, that's the theory, but it's very difficult. Default mode, everyone will be doing the same mistake as we do. And you will yeah. still be doing it, you'll see. Yeah. You know, once you actually like try to like uh, push the limits a little bit, when you push the limits a little bit, it's going to happen again. Yeah. So shift the weight in the corner off the saddle. Yes, exactly. Foot on the out, weight on yes, the outer yes. foot. Lower your center of gravity. Dip the, the toes outside. forward. The toes forward will help you like that position. You didn't let you like push the toes, you know. But try to get a forward. bend in the knee. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. That's it. So guys, if you need downhill training, you can speak to Oscar as well. But uh, I need a downhill training. These guys need a downhill training. Ruben learned a lot. I don't need it. He's a videographer. A he's, he's been great. So hope you enjoyed this video. Be lekker and see you soon.